Israel has declared control over the Gaza border while continuing its airstrikes on Hamas infrastructure in Gaza. This comes in the aftermath of unprecedented attacks by the Palestinian militant group and despite their threats to execute hostages. In Washington, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is heading to Israel to show solidarity. The top diplomat has spoken to foreign ministers from the region as one of the diplomatic priorities is to prevent violence from spreading to other parts of the Middle East. Secretary Blinken will be traveling to Israel in the coming days to engage our Israeli partners directly about the situation on the ground and how we continue, can continue to best support them in their fight against the terrorists who launched these horrific attacks. Our support for Israel is unwavering. U.S. officials have pledged American support in efforts to free hostages taken during the Hamas assault. U.S. citizens are among the captives. There are a number of countries who have the ability to deliver messages to Hamas, and we have made clear to those countries that they should urge Hamas to release all hostages immediately. While Israel indicated it does not want any pause in efforts to reach a normalization deal with Saudi Arabia, the recent Hamas attacks have complicated the diplomatic efforts for such a deal according to analysts. The current outbreak of war will likely set that back, including timelines back. It doesn't necessarily mean that normalization of ties will be over, but I think for now, uh, the focus is going to be on various aspects of, uh, of the, the war itself and aid to the Israelis. The United States has said the pursuit of a diplomatic deal between Israel and Saudi Arabia could not replace a two-state solution to address the needs of the Palestinian people. And Hamas does not represent their legitimate aspirations for an independent state of Palestine. Nike Chin, VOA News, Washington.